Hello YouTube. Uh, so we're changing up a little bit today. Um, had a nice day at the range yesterday and unfortunately today it was time to get back to work. No fun. But we are working on a little something that I enjoy. Yeah, we're back. Um, I have a soft spot for old hot rods. And this is one of a few projects we're working on right here. This is a 1969 Cadillac Sedan DeVille. She is gonna be a bad mother when she's done. Pretty straight car to begin with. A little bit of rust uh, just in the fenders. The rest of the body's pretty straight. Um, not much really to write home about. Uh, the car ran really well when it was brought to me, but unfortunately it had some exhaust manifold bolts down here that were snapped off. Um, old rusted bolt and a cast iron head, and you can see there's not a whole lot of clearance here. So as opposed to trying to drill them out in the car and messing something up really bad, we went ahead and pulled the heads off, sent them out to machine shop, and my lord, they are sparkling clean. Uh, you can see we got new valve guide seals, new valve keepers, everything's clean, new head bolts, new gaskets. Um, so it's been kind of a fun little project. I hated to take this motor apart because of how well this thing ran. So anyway, I just kind of figured we would go... Uh, over the basics here of torquing head bolts. This is one thing I love. No angle, no first pass, second pass. You torque these bolts to 115 pound feet and you're done. Um, which is actually really low. Some of your newer stuff's running 150, 160, 180 minimum. Uh, after you angle them, they want at least a certain amount of torque there. Um, so anyway, we're going to be using my Cornwell Tools half inch digital torque wrench with angle indicator. So this will do everything from I think like 20 inch pounds up to I don't know how many hundred foot pounds. Uh, it will do angle as well so that's a nice feature. Um, but anyway I'm only going to do one side in the video. I don't think you really need to see both. Uh, so we are going to come on over here to this other side if my phone mount will cooperate and uh, get you guys a better angle here. This is going to be a loud little clung using a magnetic phone mount under the hood, which this thing has performed great thus far. Let's see. You guys see what I'm seeing here? There we go. Pretty good view, you'll be able to see for the most part. So anyway, here is the Cornwell Tools torque wrench. Turn her on there for you. Now you do with these torque wrenches, when you if you change this to angle, you'll want to set it down on a bench or on your cylinder head, anywhere that it will sit still so it can calibrate the angle. So our head bolts here are three quarter inch heads. We're gonna go ahead and run this guy up to too far. Hundred and fifteen, come on. 115 foot pounds. There we go. Okay. And so when you're anytime you torque head bolts, you want to start in the center and work your way to the outside edges. Now, most newer cars are going to give you an appropriate sequence and they'll number these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, so on and so forth, jumping back and forth. This one did not provide me with a sequence. I looked everywhere to try to find a sequence on this thing. Um, I did find the spec, but no sequence. So with general 
rules of engine building. We are just going to pick our own order, but we will alternate. So we'll start something like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, so that's pretty common for a V8. You'll have ten head bolts, two between each cylinder. But we get started here. We got a three-quarter inch bolt on our three-quarter inch head on our head bolts here. So we'll just swing this guy. 115 is going to get pretty tight in here, beeping. See the green marks coming up. I like to go back off a little bit. Okay, nice solid tone there. Then flip it around here. We will hit clear. Just come back and do the next one. Okay, we'll just. off double check yep we're good okay two you can uh, skip arms and chest on days when you're torquing head bolts no need to work those anymore Okay, nice solid tone there. So it's one, two, three, four. That one's already tight. Okay, so one, two, three, four. We'll go up here, number five. And the nice thing about this with the audible tone is I don't even have to be looking at the lights or anything. So we're in an awkward position trying to do this. You don't have to be looking at your torque wrench. And for this application, a standard click type torque wrench would work just as well. Come over here to the back. We hit it, back off. Nice solid tone. Come down here to our little guy. There we go. Solid 115. Come back here. Another thing you always want to make sure of is that your threads are clean, dry, and oiled. Or you're going to have some serious issues torquing these. You can break bolts, strip out threads, all kinds of stuff. Uh, another thing, before you put your heads back on, obviously you want to make sure both of your gasket surfaces are clean. But then you also want to take compressed air and or brake clean works and blow out all of your bolt holes even if i use brake clean i'll follow it with compressed air because if there is any liquid down in there you'll get a false torque value you'll be chasing torque and you may also break your head bolt okay so i think we'll just double check yep Yep. Yep. Okay. So that is it. That's a pretty simple way of torquing your head bolts. Um, and uh, not too much to it, really. It gets a little more involved when you have angle and stuff. But uh, that'll about wrap this video up. I'm going to do the other side. And then I uh, may shoot some more video on doing the intake manifold. Um, just kind of 
dressing this motor back out now that we got the heads and the bolts and everything we need back. Um, anyway, you guys have a good one. See you next time.